guys, how are you? It's Nerd Squad here. Today we'll be talking about Xperia Z4 tablet from Sony. It costs around 500 pounds in UK. With 500 pounds, you get like uh, this little keyboard. So it gives you the feeling of a mini netbook, Chromebook, whatever you like, whatever you want to call it. As for its price, it's a really good tablet. It gives gives you a really good battery timing. Like Sony says, it will stay up for like 17 hours, but it depends, you know, how much you're using it, what's the screen brightness and everything. Like any other tablet or any other cell phone. It's a really, really slim tablet. As you can see, it's not that big. Looks nice, easy to hold. My bad, sorry. Okay, should have been doing that, like still. Yeah, sorry, my bad. Nice come feeling, looks nice, easy to hold. I mostly use uh, both of my hands, so it's for me, it doesn't matter. Even if it's so big or so small. In memory size, it only comes with 32 gigabytes, but you could put a micro SD card in it. It has two, uh, two different models. One is the LTE model, and one is only Wi-Fi, like other different tablets. So you could use a SIM card, but in this one, you could use a SIM card. You can see as a signal bars over here, sorry. Yeah. About this tablet, it's 10.1. Uh, 2K, 256 by 1600 pixels, uh, and uh, the quality is, uh, pixels are uh, 299 PPI. So, screen is not, it's really good, but compared to other tablets. It's not that heavy, it's around uh, 390 grams. Uh, it comes with Android 6.0. Uh, Sony has said that they will be updating it to Android 7.0 nugget, so might just want to wait that. A uh, few things about this one, it's a uh, dust proof of waterproof tablet, IP65 and IP68, yeah. Uh, it has a front camera and a back camera, as you can see from, yeah, that one. The front one is 5 megapixel, 501 megapixel, sorry about that. And the back one is 8.1 megapixel. Um, the RAM is 3 GB, so you could, uh, it's not that small, uh, like, it's a really fast tablet if you compare it with the other ones. The CPU they're using is a 2 gigas uh, Qualcomm Super Snapdragon 8.10, sorry, 810, yeah. I mean, I'm in a rush, so that's why I'm just hurrying it up. Let me show you, it doesn't have loads of bloodware in it, but I have uh, unsolved few of the programs which uh, came with the tablet, so yeah, so you might want to install a few of the apps. As you can see, second one. Yeah. I like the uh, vibration feel. Just, I don't know. That's a little number of thing. Um, as you can see. Sound quality is really good, as you expect from Sony. Uh, one thing, it has a micro USB port 2.0, so it's not a 3.0, or uh, and it doesn't support fast charging. So if it was a fast charging, it would be much better from Sony, but still, as it was an old tablet, so uh, micro, sorry, fast charging wasn't that uh, big of a thing at that time, so you can expand and it's okay. Looks nice. 
bit expensive as it's 500 pounds in the same you could get a lot better things a way modern tablet but still you know for this kind of uh, keyboard you will have to pay around 50 to 100 pounds so one thing bad thing about it is it only comes in 32 gigabyte option so no 64 if there was an option it would be much better still 32 gigabyte is not a small option it's not a small drive so you could download loads of data loads of data on it as you can see the style it's nice uh comfort feeling or you could plug your micro sd card in it sim card i'm not sure about the only wi-fi model so you have to see about that one power button nice feel nice button yeah soundbar so I hope you guys like it. Please subscribe. I'm have fun. Take you guys. Bye.